Good day everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your airplane mode is grayed out in your Windows machine. Now, at times, when you try to enable or disable the airplane mode in your Windows machine, now you would see that these options are grayed out. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to perform the network troubleshooter in your Windows machine. Now, to perform the network troubleshooter, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, uh, you will have to go ahead and click on system. Once you click on the system, on the right hand side, go ahead and locate for troubleshoot. So click on troubleshoot. Once you click on troubleshoot, then click on other troubleshooter. So under this, you will have to go ahead and run the network troubleshooter, which says network and internet. So click on run and follow the instructions what you see on the screen. Now the first instruction what you would see is um, you will have to go ahead and restart the um, network adapter. So this is the first step what I would suggest you to check or uh, to do um, to fix a problem. So this is if you have this window open click on restart adapter so basically what this will do is this will go ahead and restart the network adapter in your windows machine now during this process you might see that you might lose the internet connection for a while and uh, once it is done you may close this window close the uh, system window restart your computer or maybe uh, see if the problem resolves in case if you don't want to restart your computer check if you are able to enable or disable the airplane mode but restart is something which i would recommend you to uh, uh, just been resolved so after restarting the computer the issue should fix in case uh, in spite of trying this uh, if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and check the radio management services in your windows so to check the radio management services you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run now once you click on run um, you can go ahead and type services dot mse i will mention this command in the video description and click on ok once you click on your ok you will see the services window on your screen under this window you will have to go ahead and locate for radio management services under this make sure your radio management services is been running and make sure it has been set to automatic in case if it is set to manual make sure it has been set to automatic so that there is no issues so to do this you will have to do a right click and then click on properties under properties um, you may click on drop down menu and go ahead and select automatic click on apply and then click on ok once it is done um, you may go ahead and restart your computer and once you restart your computer make sure um, to check if your airplane mode is been um, a button is enabled so in case if you want to disable or enable airplane mode you should be able to enable or disable the airplane mode in your um, windows machine now in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is to update the network driver so to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button once you click on once you do a right click on the start button then click on device manager once you're on the device manager go ahead and locate for the network adapters so you would see under this list so expand network adapters under this section uh, what you will have to do is you will have to choose the network adapters what has been installed on your computer so most of the time it would be realtek or qualcomm so you can choose whichever network adapters you are using so in my case it is uh, realtek so what i need to do is to update the network driver do a right click on the network adapter and then click on update driver and choose the option which says search automatically for drivers now on an ideal condition this is the window you would see uh, once you have this window which says the best drivers for your device are already installed click on the option which says search for the updated drivers on windows update 
what this will do is this will go ahead and check for the uh, network adapters uh, for your uh, network drivers in your through windows update so click on check for the updates once you click on check for the updates it will check for the update install those updates restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step now the next step is to go ahead and try re-enabling or re-disabling the wireless network connection to do this uh, what you will have to do is um, you will have to open the run window so right click on the start button and click on run in the run window go ahead and type ncpa.cpl and then click on ok so this will open the network connection on your computer so once you have the network connection what you will have to do is you will have to choose um, what connection you are connected to in my case uh, this is the network uh, connections what I'm connected to and which has been enabled so you will have to do is you'll have to do a right click and you will have to disable the network connection once you disable it um, you will have to re-enable it back so if you do a right click you will see an option to re-enable the network connection once it is done then try to check if you are able to enable or disable the airplane mode now if you are able to enable or disable the airplane mode well and good you don't have to try the next step now as a as a last step what i would suggest you is to change the radio enable value in the registry file to fix the problem to so to enable or disable the radio enable file what you need to do is you will have to open the registry editor so you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you can you may go ahead and type reg edit and click on ok in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now when you have the registry editor open this is the structure what you would find in case if you see the keys are collapsed I would suggest you uh, expand it I would suggest you to collapse those registry key and you have the registry structure in this way and I want to set a clear disclaimer that when you are modifying any registry entries be sure what registry key you are modifying in case if you delete or modify any unnecessary registry key there are high chances that your computer may not function the way how it is supposed to function and it might also go to a no boot mode so be very sure what keys what you're modifying under uh, under the registry so once you have the registry editor open you will have to click on uh, hkey local machine under HK local machine you will have to expand system so expand HK local machine and then expand system under system you will have to expand current control set under current control set expand control under control you will have to look for class and expand class and under this you will have to find the registry key which says 4d3 so it will be in um, chronological order so 4d3 6e972 so it is right here I will also mention this register key um, in the uh, video description so 4d36e972 ending with 0318 let's see if that's the one yes so under this you will have uh, this is the key which you need to highlight under this you will have to go ahead and look for the key which says 0001 highlight the key which says 0001 once you highlight the register key on the right hand side you will see an option which says radio enabled so it will be in alphabetical order so this is where you would find the key the sub key which says radio enabled now in case if your radio enabled is being set to zero make sure you change the value to one so in my case I don't have a problem in case if you're not able to enable or disable airplane mode there is a chance that your registry value might be set to zero so you will have to change the value to one so how to change it you can double click on it it will take you to the window which says edit D word value change the value from 0 to 1 and click on OK once it is done restart, restart your computer 
once you restart your computer, you should be able to enable or disable the airplane mode in your Windows machine. So this is how you can go ahead and fix a problem. Now, in case if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.